The development of the three column table for the project based or outcomes based um, uh, assignment within 5313 is perhaps one of the most challenging um, assignments or challenging things a lot of students face in the ADL program, primarily because um, so few people are exposed to effective or actual authentic project-based learning. And outcomes-based instruction focuses on a project, something that you're going to build, something that you're going to create, something that the learner will do. Okay, It's all about what the learner will do. For example, if we take a look at the course that students are in, 5313, learners will identify and incorporate constructivist theories to create and implement significant digital learning environments. The Big Hairy Dacious course goal is big and broad enough to allow for a variety of things to happen, but it's also specific enough to identify some key components. For example, um, identifying and incorporating constructivist theories. So there's an emphasis here on constructivism, putting together those meaningful connections. And whenever you're looking at constructivist-based theories, it's a little bit different than what you traditionally do in the behaviorist environment that you are exposed to in most instructional settings. So you use constructivist theories and you create and implement a significant digital learning environment. Well, what's a significant digital learning environment? A course, a workshop, um, a um, a seminar, th these type of activities. The reason that we don't just say a course, um, in the Big Hairy Dacious Goal, you want this to be big and broad enough to allow for specificity. And when you go into the actual three column table into the outcomes, you'll see that I am being more specific, right? Learners will analyze learning environments, determine the situational and environmental factors, and develop an outcomes-based course, right? And then in the UBD for the competency-based course, you've got another course. So the big heredacious goal identifies a big project that the learner will create. And there will be some other variables. Now, I, I want to provide some examples of what you shouldn't do and what you should do. And I'm going to give you two examples of what you shouldn't do uh, and explain why. Uh, for your big heredacious goal, quite often people will rely on what they know. And that's competency-based um, objectives or goals, you know, building a goal. And this is something typical. Here's a variation. I've sort of pulled together ideas from other, other examples. Students will learn to independently reflect on their learning and use prior knowledge, critical and analytical thinking to deepen their understanding of and application of mathematical equations in building design. Okay. So it, this is typically what you see or what you develop for your lesson planning for your uh your goals okay so um it, it this emphasizes skills abilities knowledge thinking skills understanding working with mathematical equations oh they're building something oh building design okay but this is all compsy based focus this is this is easily to be measured this is traditionally what um, you will develop for a learning objective. This is this is a compilation of a variety of learning objectives. Now, shifting to a project-based focus, some people go too far the other way, and they will identify a cookie cutter project. What I refer to as cookie cutter project. Make a model or a diorama or terrarium or whatever or mobile of the Alamo. Oh, okay. So just copy this. There's a project. Copy this. Right. That doesn't work either. Don't do this. Don't do the competency-based um, um, objective or learning goal, and don't do the cookie-cutter project goal. This is an outcomes-based focus that I think would be quite helpful. Design a fortification that would take your community through a bio or other non-traditional attack and make a recommendation to city council for future planning. Oh, so you're going to build something that will prevent or save people's lives and then or something you can take to you know get approved so you're building something you're building designing the fortification that will you know help you survive a biological or non-traditional attack okay that's what you're creating now i would be willing to stop the big heredacious goal at the point of a thorough uh, take your community through a bio or other non-traditional attack. Boom, done. That, that could be good enough. It could be that simple. Uh, 
designed for fortification that would take your community through a buy or other non-traditional attack. The making recommendations to the council for future planning, that's extra, not necessary. Okay. And that additional information could show up in the three column table. Okay. Now, so here's the key. And if you don't get the big hairy dacious goal right, you're going to miss out on your outcomes. Let's take a look at the outcomes. Now, with outcomes based instruction, this is all about the learner, what the learner needs to do to build this fortification or design this fortification. So the learner will be able to. Okay, what's the first thing? Foundationally, what do they need to do to, to design and build this fortification, right? So what what is that, okay? So with your outcomes-based instruction and the three-column table, there's one outcome per row. And in the example that we've given you, you've got foundation, application, integration, human dimension, caring, and learning how to learn. Ideally, you wanna have only one outcome in each of these rows. Now you can have multiple activities and you can have, I, I don't recommend more than one assessment and quite often when you're doing project-based learning, you might only have one or two assessments for the whole project, if that, or one final assessment. So again, you can have multiple activities, but only one outcome per row. This is crucial. You need to get used to that. If you have more than one outcome per row, that means you're listing activities and then you're off on the wrong tangent. So hopefully these ideas that we've provided or these tips that I provided you here are going to help you clarify your thinking. Take a look at your three column table before you submit it. One, one more thing. Um, this is what you're building. This is, you're building a three column table and I've, I've given you a variety of examples of what that can look like uh, within the course. Um, the additional two documents um, that we've given you, those are extra and they show the work. I want to see the three column table first and foremost, make links to the additional information, but this is your primary focus. Don't tack on the three column table at the end of all the other stuff. This is what you're, you're creating. This is the design for your outcomes based um, course. Um, and, and this hopefully will get you on the right track.